हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू पोएम व्हिच इज इन द सिलेबस फॉर सेमिस्टर टू प्रिस्क्राइब्ड बाय द यूनिवर्सिटी for ba part 1 semester 2 year first year in last lecture when we were discussing about the syllabus we have seen that it is divided into five parts and what are the details of the syllabus are also expressed explain to you at very large and day by day we are moving towards the completion of the syllabus in connection with that today i would like to discuss with you a very brilliant beautiful poem by the british writer or english poet we can say that whose name is james kirkup <clears throat> he was born on 23rd of april 1918 and as he was born in 18 it clearly indicates that he was born in the end year of first world war obviously his childhood and then his young age might have seen some destructions calamities and all side effects of war or the world war we can say because we know it very well that uh, the first world war was between 1914 to 1918 and second world war was between 1939 to 1945 approximately so when he was young when he was very young in his life he witnessed that all dreadfulness of war and so being a poet being a sensitive man in england he was asking questions to himself and trying to answer that questions to himself sometimes it became poetry sometimes it was a biographical element in it sometimes it was a travel book so if you go through the details or if you would like to know more in details about james kirkep on internet or on other sources or in library or in anywhere wherever you would like to have some details about kirkep you can see that in his writing in his travel log in his biographical element in his poetry in most of the writings he has created we see that kirkup is trying to say 
or trying to establish the fact and the fact was that men should not fight with each other nowadays we learn that term that we called it the global village we learn it but uh, in that period now we can say that in 110 years before at that time when kirkup was writing his poetry he was trying to establish the fact he was trying to elaborate the real condition and he said he expressed literally in his creations that all the people living on this earth all the people living on this earth are brothers of each other and they should not fight for the cause of land for the cause of money or for the cause of any political crisis it was his we can say that consideration he was trying to establish and in uh, most of his creations kirkup was very positive to say that all men are living in one world from birth to death and one concept he was trying to establish and that concept was is no men are foreign it was his concept nobody is foreign we cannot say somebody that he is a foreigner no though in our case we are calling ourselves indians and the people those who are coming from other world or other countries we are calling them foreigners but kirkup don't have that type of mindset and he says that uh, no man is foreigner or no man are foreigner he has given so many examples to establish his fact in the poem and he says that the air which we which we take for breath is same the light of the sun which is coming to us is same even ultimately he says that after death everybody will have to move to the mother earth and this is the planet which is same for everybody in that perspective in that way we all are living in one home that is called as our home is our earth so in broad perspective in very broad spectrum james kirkup trying to say that no one is foreign in this poem 
the poet gives us the message of oneness as all men are equal that is a very important point we need to listen we are not same but we are equal so these two words are very important we are not same africans are not looking like mongolians mongolians are not looking like europeans indians are not looking like the australian hmm everywhere is different means we are not same but we are equal and it is the consideration of the poet that he says that we are equal hmm we are equal and with the same simple needs and wishes why we are equal what is the reason behind our equality why the poet calls that everyone is equal for the explanation of these things he says that our needs and our wishes are same what are our needs we see in marathi that is anna vastra nivara shikshan these are the primary preliminary necessary fundamental needs of man and these needs are not different in other countries it doesn't mean that somebody in india is having this type of needs and a person who is living in nigeria is having some different need it never happens both the citizens those who are living in the different countries are having same needs so the needs then the wishes what are our wishes everyone would like to get good health everyone would like to have good home to live everyone would like to have good food to eat even our wishes are same everyone would like to have finest home to live good clothes to wear our wishes are same everybody would like to loved by others everybody would like to have attention by others so these are our wishes and our wishes and needs are same so we are equal okay why we are equal our wishes and needs are same so we are equal some people in this world are trying to establish equality and peace in the world they are trying to establish peace they are trying to establish equality equality fraternity equality fraternity liberty liberty equality and fraternity the revolution taken place in some country of the world has given this slogan liberty equality and fraternity so the people are trying to establish these concepts as far as james kirkup is concerned in this poem he says that we all are equal we all are equal because of our wishes and needs are same the poet reminds us that we all are human beings okay he is trying to concentrate on the fact to say that no one should forget this reality that we all are human beings 
no one is a strange no one is strange no one is having some horn on his head who is having tail no so never forget this reality the fact that we all are human beings and when we are accepting this reality and fact as we are human beings what are the necessities required for human beings that all are equal to every human being in every nation inside all the uniforms the same bodies are there so many uniforms are there germans have different jews have different americans have different europeans have different indian and the colonial countries have different uniforms on their soldier soldiers but do having different uniforms on the soldiers the body structure of human being is same they are like our brothers and sisters who walk on the same earth as we do everyone in the other part of the world is walking running eating and doing the same activities as any human being in any nation does so what is the strange he never finds any strangeness rather he finds equality okay rather he finds equality in almost all the citizens those who are living in the different part of the world so he says that uniform may be different but the body form is same everyone needs air to breathe everyone needs oxygen if we want to take more technically perfect then we have to say that everyone wants oxygen everyone wants water to drink everyone needs food to eat so in that perspective in that way we all are equal our hands are same everyone is having two hands two legs it indicates that we are equal though the color of the eyes may be different but everyone has two eyes everyone has five fingers at his one hand most of us or almost all of us are same in a physical structure and it makes no difference so that is the equality we have to understand and underline which uh, makes a poet like james kirkup kirkup sorry james kirkup more sensitive to concentrate on the fact that no man is foreign we must always remember that whenever we are told to hate someone we are betraying ourselves nowadays the game of hatred is at its peak so in that perspective this poem is very important we think it very seriously if somebody is suggesting us to make hatred to others we should not behave in that way because we have to understand the fact that we all are same we all are equal 
we pollute this planet when we start war that is a very good line we are polluting the planet this is the earth this is earth the earth and our earth is our home no one living on this earth has any right to pollute this earth but james kirkup says that when we are making the war when we are fighting with each other on some different reasons we are polluting it we should not pollute our planet because it is our mother earth when there is a war there is another great problem and that was starvation nowadays even nowadays in many of the countries of africa we see that there are children regularly starving they don't have sufficient meal to eat they don't have two times meal to feed themselves this is a tragic condition and when there is a war this condition gets intensified resources get finished and starvation get started so war which comes out of the hatred among the people is a very dangerous thing so this poem makes a very sensitive appeal to the readers that they should think it seriously cautiously and accept this humanness accept this humanity humanitarian attitude worldwide and make the people aware about the fact that no man no one is foreign so this is a poem and it is the poem which is very relevant in even in today's situation i hope that you might have got the central idea of the poem the summary of the poem or the cream of the poem that no man is foreign so i hope that you enjoyed it thank you thank you